excited to be here and to share this with you. During quarantine, I decided to create some painting classes and I went about it like from back when I was younger and the things that I wish I had when I was learning to paint, I wanted to be able to like sit down and watch somebody from start to finish. And so that's essentially what these classes are. So here's what all it includes. A paints crash course video that talks to you about the different types of paint, color mixing videos that teach you how to mix colors. There are 10 separate painting courses and each one is broken into three segments a beginning, middle, and an end. There's also free bonus material that's available to you through my website. If you want, I have a lot of extra resources for you, printables, um, tips um, on how to make your artwork better, tips on choosing your color palette, all that kind of stuff. You can receive that on my website if you go to www.samanthawood.art and go up to the top where it says art class. You can click that and then um, fill out the little form there for email and the request for um, that extra bonus information and I'll email that to you. And you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and then also on TikTok. On Instagram especially, I would love for you um, to share what you're painting and to tag me um, so that I can see what you are up to. You can also check out what kind of art I'm creating and what I've been up to while you're there. I'd love to see um, what you're creating and find out if these courses have been helpful to you. So anyways, we will go ahead now and get started on this first lesson. Oh, one last thing. This little intro is going to be the same on every single video, so you can just skip it um, or pick up. Like if you don't need the color mixing videos, just pick up where you're interested um, along the way. I'll be releasing this content on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of each week for the next few months until everything has been released. So anyways, I'm excited that you're here and I hope to see you over on Instagram or Facebook too. All right, so we get to add those fun, colorful sprinkles today. So this is gonna be a fun, easy session. So let's get in there and wrap up those ice cream cones. Okay, so when it comes to working on those little fine details and finishing touches, you notice when you look closely at the ice cream that there are these little like um, lines in it or a texture to it where like there's air between like the ice cream. Um, and they're not nearly as dark as the cookie pieces, but those areas are darker than where the ice cream is solid. So I've mixed um, kind of a, a darker shade than my shadows, just a little bit darker. And I'm going in and kind of adding those little specks here and there to create that texture of the ice cream. <music> closely at those areas where I've got like the darker um, cookie pieces and shadows running through there and I'm noticing um, that some areas are a little bit lighter of a brown so I've carefully mixed a brown that's just a little bit lighter than what I've got on there and I'm just kind of going in I'm not completely covering shapes but kind of adding like lighter edges to them here and there just to kind of create some variation um, and I think it's already making a difference. It's one of those small things that you don't have to do, but I think it really adds a lot um, when you do add that variation of color. I'm gonna flip my canvas sideways because I'm needing to paint those like thin white lines along the edge of the acrylic stand. And it's a lot easier for me to make a straight line like when I'm pulling kind of straight down. Um, when I do my arm going out across like my body that way it's a lot harder for me to get it straight so if there's ever an area you know on your canvas and you're just having a hard time getting it right a lot of times like flipping it to the side or turning it upside down can really help you to get um, the line or the angle that you're struggling with it'll help you to get it much easier so that's a great thing to try when you're having a hard time Just 
like with the scoop of ice cream, how I kind of inspected it closer. I'm looking at that acrylic stand closer at those fine lines and details and looking at what I have on my canvas and going back and touching up or adding um, anything that needs to be added. So now that I've neatened things up, that like little acrylic stand is um, looking much more crystal clear and vibrant than it was before. And I'm adding some little pink touches kind of here and there. There's the one at the end of the little ice cream stand, but then I'm adding some little pink touches around my ice cream cone too to just kind of use that warm tone to kind of pull your eyes up to the ice cream. Um, that's something I like to do in my work. Um, if you have areas that you feel like just kind of need a pop of color, try adding like a short little outline or um, shape there and just see how it affects your work. Be creative with it and, you know, try adding things that add interest to your work. I've mixed kind of a light bluish purple color similar to the background color maybe with a little bit more gray in it and I'm just kind of adding there's some like little highlights along the edge of the chocolate on the cone so I'm kind of getting those in place and just really inspecting that um, picture closely and now it is like that moment I have been waiting for you get to add the sprinkles which I think is like one of the most exciting parts and so I will be trying to keep it as close to the picture as I can, but kind of adding in those sprinkles. And of course it makes the most sense, like while you've got the yellow paint on your brush, put your yellow sprinkles in place. And then when you have your orange on your brush, kind of work that way so that you don't have to wash out your brush as much. That'll be a big time saver. So I am gonna go on and get all those sprinkles where they need to be. Okay, so I got all the sprinkles in place. I love that pop of color in the middle of the canvas. It's just a lot of fun. And so now I am going to sign my initials and then it is complete. All right, we did it. I hope you are happy with how your ice cream cone turned out. Thank you so much for coming and painting with me. I have enjoyed doing this. I hope that you will come back and paint with me again. I would love to see what you created. If you would like to share it with me, you can tag me on social media or share it in the Facebook group, or of course you can always email me. 
Thanks again for being here. See you guys later. Thank you.